Yesterday we focused on trapezoids and today we are going to sort and practice drawing parallelograms. You'll need all the shapes from yesterday's lesson for today's sort. Before we get started on today's sort, we're going to play the guess my rule game again. So remember your job is to guess why the rule is applies for the shapes inside the oval and why there are shapes outside the oval. Okay, here we go. Are you thinking of a rule that applies to this? You might have already guessed it, but my shapes inside my oval are parallelograms, while my shapes outside my oval are not. A parallelogram is a shape that has two sets of parallel lines. So you can see here this shape has two sets of parallel lines. So does this shape. And then finally this shape. This shape right here only has that one set. So it was a trapezoid. Both of these were trapezoids from yesterday's lesson. But remember, this one only has one, sh one set of parallel lines, which makes it a trapezoid. And the two sets of parallel lines make it a parallelogram. That's what we're going to be working on today. So your first step is to short your sort your shapes into parallelograms and not parallelograms, and then you'll sketch three. You're going to use that right angle template to draw a parallelogram. Then you're going to use these other tools to draw your parallelograms. And remember, you get to answer some questions at the end of this sort. Let me quickly show you how you would use your right angle template to draw your parallelogram. So your first step is to make one to make one set of parallel lines. So I'm going to draw a line right here. Remember to use pencil. And then I'm going to use my right angle template to note where my next line should be. And I'm going to check to make sure these lines are parallel by using my right angle template to see that they all line up correctly. And then my next step is to draw my next set of parallel lines. So I could draw them straight, but I could also draw them slanted. So I'm going to do the same thing I just did. But now I'm going to draw them slanted. So now I need to put my right angle at a slant to create my next line. So here is my parallelogram. Remember, you will erase all the sides that um, extended past the shape. And then just like with our trapezoids, these papers make it a little bit easier to draw parallelograms because they already have some of the right angles already done for you. So here and here. And then these two connect. So as long as you're even with your um, other lines, you can use this grid paper. You can see I only went one in and one out, one in and one out. So I know that these lines, when they're extended all the way there, they will not intersect as well. And again, you'll do that with your dot paper as well. So good luck sorting your parallelograms today.